Well, of course, we're disappointed, but uh, we're not angry, not on our performance and not on our boys. I think this performance and, and, and this game is enough to win it. I think today we are simply unlucky. Um, we never, we never, we've never hidden the fact that that you need luck in in this game to to be able to win when when uh, on this level. It's every uh, all the time. You need a certain momentum. You need some some little details and, and decision making, referee, and and sometimes with a shot like like today. I think we defended uh, very, very well. We uh, were very aggressive in counter-pressing. We defended up high the pitch. We did not allow any counter-chances for one of the most dangerous counter-attacking teams in, in Europe. We did not allow any half chances, any chances. Uh, I'm, I was absolutely happy with the work rate and intensity. Um, but in decision making, in decision making in the first half, we were a bit too hectic. We were, we went too straight up up front. We went, we wanted to force the, the solution too fast. Had some unnecessary ball losses and some, yeah. Um, some unprecise decision making because we created some two against two, three against three situations. Uh, they were more, way more promising than what we made of it. We had a big, big chance with Aspliqueta in the first half. Big chance, uh, maybe the biggest in the whole game. Second half, we controlled the match even higher and completely in the opponent's half. Uh, for that, the, the spaces were a bit, 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 bit closer, and then we can see the goal out of nothing, and it's a fantastic goal, but it's a lucky goal, of course, and uh, yeah, and then we have a big chance with Mason, a fantastic save by Schmeichel. We have an offside goal, very, very close. So we're unlucky today. When you arrive in a final, you cannot, uh, you, you have no guarantee that you end up with a trophy. I think we would have deserved to win, but it's um, okay. We need to accept that we were unlucky today. Rob Draper. Unmute yourself, Rob. Hi, Thomas. Hi. You, you've got three massive games ahead of you. Um, is there a danger that a defeat like this, and obviously Arsenal and Nord, we, that at the end of such a long season, such a difficult season, that, that you can lose momentum? What do you do to lift it, obviously, for, for the next massive three games? There's nothing much to do. We focus on our performance. This is what we what we always do. We don't, we don't even if it's uh, okay in a final. You normally make an excuse and say, okay, no matter what, you take any result, even any win, no matter how you how you get how you get your hand on the trophy, you take it. But in in general, we are about performance, and we will now talk about what we did good and what, what we can do better uh, to be ready on Tuesday. This is it in in sports. There is no team that never loses. There is no team. There is no 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 player. No no single sports guy out there who never loses. Now it's about uh, coming back, bouncing back, showing mentality again, and, and belief on Tuesday. We have uh, a big. Uh, we missed now uh, a trophy, which we're, we are very sad about that. But we have another competition now with two finals against Leicester and um, Aston Villa, and uh, then another final. We have we have enough to do, and uh, there we cannot we cannot uh, we cannot regret too long. Okay, we'll do two more. Jacob Steinberg and then Paul Rowan to finish. Jacob. Hi, Thomas. In terms, of the, um, in terms of the players kind of forcing it in the final third, as you said, in the first half, do you put that down to the, some of the inexperience and the, the youth of the team that you were mentioning on Friday? On Friday? What, what? In terms of the players forcing it. Is that what you said, Jacob? Um, Jacob, in yeah. the first half? Yeah, yeah, you, you said yesterday that you're a young team, and do you think that that maybe played a part today in terms of the players kind of? Yeah, that the always plays. Part? Yeah, that always plays a part. But but we can do better, even if you're experienced or not. But but I could feel us a bit too hectic. Not sure if it has something to do with our age. I think Hakim is not so so such a young player. Timo is also not so so young. But uh, yeah, we we can improve there. It's it's. Um, it uh, sticks a bit with us um, throughout the season and um, to a bit of lack of composure, lack of precision, but nothing that, that holds you back from, from winning games. We had the same, we had the same issues in, in other games where we were able then to score. And for me today, it was, was uh, 
if we score a late goal, maybe we talk about the the um, performance in a very different in a very different way. That we kept our calm, that we kept our work rate high, that we kept our concentration level high. And because this is what we did, you cannot lose one drop of of concentration against Vardy, Ianacho, against all the counter attacks. And we did very very well throughout the whole game. I'm I'm absolutely happy with how we defended, and we cannot we cannot look. Um, I mean, as a coach, I cannot judge only from result, not at all, and I will not start now. Last one on today, Paul Rowan. Paul, unmute yeah. yourself. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Hi, Thomas. Um, Hi. Did you think it was a handball for the uh, Leicester goal? And secondly, wh- why did you play Reese James in the position you played him? Um... I, I don't. I, I I didn't see it. I, I just my 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 assistant saw it on on the on on the screen on the bench, and and the players said it straight away that it was a handball. We have it now for the second time. Um, that there's a handball against Arsenal, who denies a goal on the on the goal line against us, and VAR is not uh, interfering today again with a goal. Uh, very decisive. Arsenal denied a goal against us today. They score a goal if it touched the hand. But I'm not an expert, honestly, in handball anymore. I don't absolutely know when it's hand and when not. So you need a bit of luck in these decisions. I did not see it, so it's, I cannot comment and, and give my opinion. And uh, my opinion is anyway not relevant because I don't know anymore when it's when when it's when they need to punish it and when it's okay to play with a hand. Um, Risi played in the back three and we put Aspi up higher. They changed the position because we knew about the favorite position from from Jamie Vardy and counter-attacks in transition game. And uh, we wanted to have Risi's uh, power, Risi's acceleration uh, and, and, and top speed against him to eliminate this threat. He did uh, fantastic today very very happy and on the same side we wanted to have uh, Aspi a bit higher because he takes from his experience and his character he takes a bit more risk than Risi in the last line and yeah so, so it's like this if, if, if Aspi could have scored the first the first goal and was not uh, was not deflected before him would have been a great decision so now it's a it's a normal decision but it's a decision for for tactical reason and for 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 Risi's top speed and uh, I'm very happy uh, how we defended in, in general today okay that's the end